In online marketing and in life, change is inevitable. It can be scary, sure, but it can also be exciting and a new opportunity for you. In the world of digital marketing, change is happening all the time. In my career, I've interviewed a lot of digital marketers and one of the key aspects to whether or not they get the job is do they stay on top of all the updates and changes in the marketing landscape. Speaking of changes, Google just announced a new Google Ads interface. Google tends to do this every few years and the last major update was around 2017. The update in 2017 was extremely different and it took a while to get used to. This one, in my opinion, is a bit less disruptive and it should only take you about a week or two to get used to. To help with that, today I'm going to run through four of the most popular sections in Google Ads and show you exactly where they are in the new interface. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your digital marketing efforts. I truly believe that you have what it takes to manage your own digital marketing campaigns and you don't have to hire an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you. Before we dive into the content of this video, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, and I'll leave a link in the description below. I created this document for businesses like you to save thousands of dollars inside of your PPC account. And again, you can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet. All right, so I started noticing this new interface in some of the accounts that I work in a couple of months ago. At the time of this recording, it's in about 50% of the accounts that I have access to. If you haven't received this new appearance, it's only a matter of time so you can get ahead of the game by watching this video. As I said before, this is a quick video and I'm gonna show you four of the most popular sections in Google Ads and where they are in the new interface. And hey, as you're watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you're a fan of the new design or if you wish the Google Ads design would have stayed the same. All right, so let's hop into the interface and we're gonna start with the search terms section, which I actually think Google has made it a lot easier to find compared to the old interface. This is the new Google Ads interface and the first thing that we're gonna look for is where the search terms report is. So. On the left-hand side, underneath Insights and Reports, I'm gonna select Search Terms, and you guessed it. This is where the search terms for your search campaigns and uh, your standard shopping campaigns will reside. Next, let's go to the placements. Underneath Audience, Keywords, and Content, uh, you will see a tab that says Content, and so I'm going to select that. And then in the middle of the screen, you'll see a row, uh, and then the third one over is placements. And so if you're running on the display network or YouTube campaigns, you'll be able to see where your ads actually appeared underneath the placements tab. All right, now let me show you where ad extensions like site links can be found. Next, let's look at where the extensions are. And so extensions went through a renaming and they're now called assets. And so on the left-hand side, you'll see the drop down for assets. And then underneath that, you simply select assets. And then you'll see things like business logo, site link, call out, structured snippets, and more that you can edit for your campaigns. So I'm gonna select site link and that is how easy it is to find the new assets. All right, so let me show you where the reports editor is in the new interface. Next, let's look at the report section. So in the previous appearance for Google Ads, uh, typically I would have to search for reports because it was pretty hard to find, but in this new appearance, they make it really easy. So underneath Insights and Reports, select, select Reports Editor and then you can go in and create a custom report or you can open one of the predefined reports that Google has for us. So I just selected to create a new custom report and then here are all the rows and columns and metrics and dimensions that you can select to create a new report. Hey, I hope that was helpful for you and saves you some time as you're getting acclimated to the new interface. If you could do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel, that'll give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.